This video is sponsored by Squarespace. With beautiful and easy to use templates, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create a professional website. more minutes before the pre-order shop launch. I don't know why, but I feel very calm about this. I might just be very tired because I was kind of battling a lot of thrips yesterday. I had one plant that was infested with thrips. I'm a little defeated, feeling a little tired, but I'm pretty excited for the shop updates. I've been waiting to launch this for so long. Two more minutes. There's already so many people waiting. Unrestrict. You know what? Should I just go for it? I'm gonna just go for it. I'll give everyone a minute. My main post is live, it's a reel this time, and I also shared the stories. <laughs> ah! Okay, Twitter post went live as well, I had that one scheduled early, let me check the link. Works. Patreon also posted. Um... Now I need to do Tiki Talk, which I already had the draft loaded up, so everything's going smooth. With shop updates, I feel like in a way it gets easier every single time, but at the same time, it's like the more you do shop updates, the more you're able to do bigger shop updates, which means you're putting in a lot more money and a lot more time and a lot more effort. And so it gets so much scarier releasing it. And I think I was like overly stressing myself internally about this for a long time. And now that it's finally launched and I'm like seeing how positive of a reaction that this update is getting, I'm feeling like very weirdly emotional about all this and like I started like tearing up and I didn't I don't know it's just kind of like I think the stress is like kind of catching up with me and my emotions and I'm just kind of overwhelmed <sighs> I'm just very grateful I'm very grateful for all of you and I'm really grateful to make cool shit Oh my god, that turned out so beautifully.
to our sponsor, which is Squarespace. If you've been around, you know that I've been using Squarespace for a long, long time. I use it mainly for my portfolio as well as my Patreon secret shop. I also use it for my wholesale catalog. And today I kind of just want to show you around their templates and pretty much show you which ones I like the most. So one of the first ones I want to show is called a mall. And I don't know, it's just so beautiful and simple and I could see this one being really nice for someone that needs a lot of writing showcased on their website. The next one is Pizari and this specific demo is geared towards more like a photography type of portfolio which I really adore. I love how simple it is but how bold it is at the same time. The next one is called Hester and this is the pickle business one and I just love the way that it looks and how modern it feels. So if you like what you see, you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, you can use my code APPLECHEEKS or use my link in the description for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. I fucked up. Let me show you what I'm dealing with right now. So all that was supposed to go to my office pretty much and I guess my manufacturer used my billing address which is my apartment as the shipping address and now I have a bunch of my tulip plushies in front of my apartment. I'm very excited that the plushies made a safe and they're here but also um I always assume that the front desk people hate it when people do stuff like this because it's just literally taking up the entire hallway blocking other people from getting to their apartments. I can pack as many as I can into our cars to bring to the office and then just pack the ones that have already sold in my apartment which just turns my apartment into my office and my packing station which is the exact reason why I got an office I feel like I'm just ranting now boxes <sighs> let's open one shall we I mean we're already here might as well open one box I ordered these about maybe like a month and a half to almost two months ago and yesterday I was just like why aren't they in yet maybe I should check on that and so I emailed my manufacturer and they're like so your stuff is in the states they've they've arrived they're already there we just need to like figure out UPS and like when they're gonna deliver it to you here's your tracking number I was like okay cool I'll probably still have like a week or something left to, you know, prepare for this amount of stuff coming. And today I was coming home from my office because I was packing some orders 
from my shop opening I literally walked like a few feet into my apartment and then I saw my door and I'm like that's weird did I buy furniture why are there so many boxes but no I have not needed to buy furniture I already fully furnished my apartment I'm like no stop like why is there why are there so many boxes and it turns out that uh you know So let's just see what's in the box, shall we? Um, I ordered about 500 of these. They're supposed to be 20 boxes. I'm missing two. Sometimes when you get stuff delivered overseas, the boxes do get separated um, just because there's so many of them, but they do end up coming like the next day or the next next day. Honestly, not a big deal, but the majority of them are here and that's what's important. They're a little bit squished, which is fine. Um, oh my gosh, okay. I need to like re-fluff and reshape them a little bit. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so please ignore how wonky it looks. Usually I have to go in and like re-fluff and reshape it by myself a little bit, or you know, you can re-fluff and reshape it yourself as well when you get it because I still need to ship it out to you but this is what it looks like these turned out so cute and I have a tag on them so cute I'm gonna I think I'm gonna leave my apartment now because this is stressing me out having these boxes here I might go work at a cafe for today so I can figure out what to do with all of this and not have to stress about it by seeing it in my apartment. I'm currently living in chaos and it's driving me insane. So I think it's time to do the laundry. It has been so hard to stay focused and motivated. Earlier today, it was so gloomy and so windy and I just don't really love that weather. It makes me feel very groggy and very sleepy. And apparently some parts of Vegas was snowing and apparently my area was snowing like a teeny tiny bit. Nothing was sticking, but I think just knowing that it's snowing outside feels very magical, even though I didn't step outside today. So I need to design some new thank you cards because my thank you cards are running low. I think I have like 30 left and so I'm working on four designs. I honestly, when I'm feeling very lazy, I kind of just take some designs from my sketchbook, like previous pages and I just scan them and then draw over them. 
uh, digitally. So that's what I'm gonna do now. There's gonna be four different designs this time. And then I also should start thinking about like the labels I want to design for my tote purses. I think those... I should finish those soon because I just paid for the tote bag. So that means they're gonna be manufactured and so I should probably chase that deadline. I'm watching Megan right now. Her glazing is so satisfying. Yo, and let's get back to the glazing footage. That's so cute. Anyways. really loving um, drawing persimmons like this recently. I ended up drawing that persimmon in this style when I was hanging out with Lee and Megan and I've just been drawing a bunch of persimmons so it's a cutie. It's definitely a cutie. I think this one persimmon is kind of like inspiring me to try I guess like different art styles. I, I don't know. I feel like I say this so often, but I'm a little sick of like drawing in my current style, which is like putting a face on everything. And I know that that's kind of like what, I don't really want to say it like this, but it's kind of like what sells in a way. It's like people love that like cute style, but recently I've been drawn more towards like just more textured, simple drawings that I can finish really fast with like a crayon or something and just adding more textures into my art in general versus like what I have been doing for the past like three years of my life and honestly I don't think it's gonna be as big of a hit but that's I just like it so we're gonna just go with it we're gonna see where it where it leads me Right now I'm using, oh my god, my water cooler, please excuse it. I'm using the chalk brush. I'm pretty sure this one came with the whole Procreate app, but I'm just going in filling in some yellow in the background to make it less uh, dull and white in the back. And um, I think I like it so far. The texture of it's really nice. Like this literally looks like the color pencil that I was using. So that's pretty neat. Sometimes I forget that like I already have a lot of Procreate brushes that I can use and that are really nice already and I just keep buying more and more but I just never use them because I'm not like besides the more like hard edge brushes um, like pretty much like the solid circle ones I don't really use a lot of other more traditional looking brushes on Procreate because I could just never figure out how to make it look natural i think i'm just it's just hard for me to do like digital stuff even when i have like all the tools already but this is a really nice pencil brush i really like it actually really nice oh man now that the sun is back out and there's no wind i feel like i should go outside and just like walk around or something.
Hello, um, this is the end of the video and I had a blast editing it. I think I really like this video. I don't know why. I just really like it. So I hope you like it too. Today I got a letter on my door from my apartment complex and they are they're doing a mandatory apartment check and uh, they're making sure that there's no fire hazards inside the apartments and so I have to push up moving everything up a few days, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna have my boyfriend come along and help me and we're going to move as many as we can inside our two cars and figure it out from there. Um, I hope you're having a great, wonderful day, week, month, year, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Wish me luck. We're gonna be moving for a bit. It should be fine. I think everything will be fine.